In this project, you'll use the LED light sensor to turn on or off an LED. In the void setup function, use the pin mode function to set port A2 as an input. This sensor will plug into the shorter block of ports near the bottom of MakerBoard and make sure the plus and minus pins on the light sensor match up to the plus and minus ports on the MakerBoard. The next pin mode function has the arguments to and output. That's an LED light that's plugged into port 2 of the MakerBoard. Inside the void loop function, the first thing you see is an if statement. The if statement has two parts, the condition that is checked and that's between the parentheses and the action that is run is between the curly braces. So if the condition is true, the code between the curly braces will run. Here, the condition is, is the digital reading of port A2 low? That means the code is going to check port A2, and if there's low light on the light sensor, or there's a shadow over it, this condition will be true. And this code, the digital write function with arguments 2 and high, will run, turning on the LED. The actions of the else statement will run when the conditions of the if statement aren't true. So the else statement here will run if the digital read of A2 is not low. And if that's the case, then you'll use the digital write function with arguments 2 and low to turn off the LED light. So you have this automatic night light that will turn on when you cover the light sensor with your hand or a piece of cloth and it will turn off when you uncover the light sensor or shine a flashlight on it. You can see from this code comment that depending on how bright your room is, you may need to shine a flashlight or use a piece of cloth to cover the light sensor to get it to turn on and off. 